Ah, oh, man. It has been a hot minute to last do one of these. Alright, so... For a while now, I have seen that a lot of people talk about only using the RSCPS3 emulator. Um, and the PS3 emulator has a lot of, you know, minor issues when it comes to armor core. Um, it's very solid, though, for fighting games. But uh, for me, personally, mine recently crashed. And it left me with a hole in my heart because it meant I could not play Armor Core. Or at least Armor Core 4 and 4 Answer. And for whatever reason at the time, I was trying to get 5 to work. Did not work. So then I went to Zenny and I was like, I can't have this. I need to get this to work. I can't play Xenia Armor Core 4 with a blocky texture. So, I decided, okay, I'll try and launch it. I get the blocky textures, and I'm like, okay. And I had to think for a minute, how do I go and correct such an issue? Well, let's see. Where was it? Where did I put it? Da, da, da. Uh, eh, here we go. No, that's the wrong one. There we go. So, I go into my Xenia, and I use Canary, because Canary is far more stable. Um, well, I mean, I guess I can't really say stable. It's better to use um, for most games, normally the update version. And I go, hey, hey, I want to get into the settings. So I go into the, connect, the config file. You can do the same thing with master. I can, yeah, I can go here. I'm going to send you a master. And they, did I not make a config? Yeah, there it is. There you go. So we got the master config here. And you could set the settings, but Canary runs Armor Core 5 better and Armor Core Verdict Day. So I use Canary most often. Uh, I have Master in case stuff goes sideways. So right here, we have the Xenia Canary breakdown, right? Some things are, all, most of this is all left in default, except for like three lines of information, which I had changed the settings to. Um, and it took me a while to figure this out. But this is for the visual issues in Armor Core 5, where the AC is black, and in Armor Core Verdict Day, where the AC is white, and a shiny glowing ball, and in Armor Core 4 answer, where it's literally a red techno cubic pattern. You know, like, literally, visual fixes. Okay? But, for the Armor Core 5 and Verdict Day, rendering issue fix as well. And I had to look and dig in the internet very, very deep for these answers. For what settings in this giant list could it possibly be? What one? And I could have like actually like read all of these, but nah. No 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 no. God gave me the power of control F and I did not that did not fail me. Ah. So I looked up a guy, and what, what do I find? They find this man, Emulators and Gameplay HD. And I'm like, okay, I'm watching his videos, his stuff's working. He's using Xenia, Canary. Okay. I don't have the same specs as he does, but, <laughs> you know, he's got his work in, mine, mine runs fine. So I'm like, okay. And I look very closely at Armor Core 5 here, and I see Protect Zero False. And I'm like, wait a minute. I know what this is. So I go in. Where did I put it? I go in here. And I'm like, okay, Control F. And I'm like, so I'm like, Protect Zero. Oh, right. So right. I didn't put an equal. So it just goes zero. Fine. Of course, there are millions of those. Right, I am being an idiot. All right, uh, ah, it's an, it's the underscore. I forgot the underscore. That's why I am screwing up like an idiot here. Because protect underscore zero. Okay, so over here, this is where I pay reads and writes. Okay, and for whatever reason, Armor Core doesn't read and write 
properly. Or, you know, for like Armor Core 5 and Verdict Day. So, you want to set that immediately to false, because in default, this here, right here, this, will be set as true. You want to change that to false. And I'm not joking about this. And the next thing you want to do is the D3, D12 read back here, okay? This, this one here, is for the visual, all right? All right, and then you want to do the V-Sync as well. The V-Sync also helps for Armor Core 5 um, in Verdict Day. But let's say we want to go to D3, D12, read back. You know, 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 know your shortcuts, people. This is the important stuff. D3, D12. Right, let's put a 13. Why? Right, 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 right. How did I put in at the time to get it? Like, maybe I put in a read back at the time, and I just looked through the list. Because this is lazy searching, you know, there is a method to the madness of lazy searching. Oh. There we go! Okay, see that? Lazy searching. <laughs> Sometimes when you're lazy and you, you decide, hey, I want to look on the internet for an answer. You have to read and root around for stuff, and it takes a while. And it's like, ooh, 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 look here, look here. Read, render, texture, resolution on CPU. And you got little instructions in here. And, you know, you could, like, go through this and read it. I strongly recommend read everything that you can um, at the time. I was like, okay, yeah. And, of course, this will be set default to false. Uh, maybe, actually, let me make sure that's the right one I was looking at. Uh, read back, resolve, true. Sorry, right, wrong one. Right one. Yeah, yeah, that's the right one. Okay. Yeah, so this will be set to false and default, and you want to set true. This will actually help with rendering, so you won't have, like, a crash when you're playing Armor Core 5 or Armor Core Verdict Day uh, in one of your missions. Like, if you don't have this setting uh, adjusted from false to true... You will crash in the middle of a mission, or you will have problems starting a mission. And, and you know. The next thing will become freezing uh, mid-fighting. That's the V-Sync issue. You know, that, that, you know, no one wants to freeze in the middle of their fight and be like, Oh man, I need to go back and do all the things I, I didn't do. And we got the V-Sync equals false. Just go in here, in the list, in the config. Just change it, alright? And, I know, you might say, well, do I really want to mess with stuff? Yes. Yes, if you want to play Armor Core on an uh, Xbox 360 emulator, which is far stable, uh, far better experience, yes. Yes, you want to know what the heck, the heck you're doing, and you want to actually go in and change those three settings. Three! Three settings! You can play all the Armor Cores. It doesn't affect it. Alright? Although, it's important to remember him. Uh, I will make a separate notepad to remind you. So here comes the next thing. How do you remember where where, where to ha get your armor cores? All right? Let's say you don't know where to get armor core 5 or verdict day. Well, I went searching on Reddit. For the first time in my life, I actually decided, you know what, I can't find any emulator website, so I have it. And I got sent to this GitHub IO archive uh, on Microsoft, and I'm like, huh, this seems uh, interesting. Maybe it's not legit. Maybe it is. Who knows? So, I see this Internet Archive list, and I'm like, wait a minute. No one ever messes with the Internet Archive. This has to be legit. So, of course, you just go ahead and you click on the link. You want A2, this is actually it. And you're sent to the Internet Archive. Oh my god, look. Look at all these emulation files for all the games you play. For Xbox 360. I know, it's a lot. And I feel like I just missed Armor Core. Right. Am I, is that even the right one? A link to A1? I, I forget which one it was now. Oh, there's Ace Combat in A1. So you can go there. Ace Combat, great game. Everyone should try it. 
Highly recommend. But, okay, here we are. So, we got Armor Core here. We got 4 Answer, US. We have Verdict Day. We have Armor Core 4. And, of course, we have 5. 5. I own these physical copies for these games, so... I'm not afraid... The game's been out for a long time. I don't expect anyone to actually, you know... But, like, for anyone to actually have a physical copy, it's really hard. Um, I was lucky enough to get, like, four and for answer and five for, like, 12 or 15 bucks each. Uh, the verdict day, I had to pay 54 It was a copy from England. Uh, I had to wait. I had to, shipping, man. A lot of it was shipping. Uh, maybe, like, 20 bucks worth worth shipping. Which wasn't so bad, but it took, like... It said it would take a month. It took, like, two months to actually get over here. You know, I, I blame U.S. postage, but, um, you know, so here. So I'll put a link, okay, to the r Rounds Mega Thread for everyone to actually, like, click on and, like, look through, because other people might want to try other games for the 360, okay? And the only reason I came up to this was because I said, you know, there has to be a way. Someone has to have already figured this out. And this is the only guy, this guy here, emulator and gameplay, this guy right here. He's the only one who actually figured it out for the thing. And it, it blew my mind because I started watching some of his videos and I'm like, my god, this guy works on every conceivable emulator just to try and get it to work. And of course, you know, you won't find everyone who's, you know, got the skills or does it themselves. You know, sometimes you gotta look at a forum or a thread, and you gotta read, like, tons and tons of chat messages from people going back and forth. But, eventually, your efforts will bear fruit. And, it all comes down to this old saying I have. It's very simple, really. Anything worthwhile doing is never easy. And it's never attainable if you don't do the work. So. I did my homework. And I. Ugh. What was it? And I. I have no fucking idea if they can hear me right now. Or if anyone can hear me. Oh, let's just do the... Yeah, okay, I heard that. I did my work. Now I'm about to show you some solid gameplay. I got Arm Core 5 to work in the 360 emulator. Good morning. Main system. Checking pilot data. Main system. Normal mode. Now, activated. granted, it doesn't have any Routes like the updates mission. at 360 or Microsoft posted, but I can literally go in. Sure, there's some jitters, but I got my AC. It's, it looks. It's no longer a giant black blob. It's gray. Let's say I want to do a mission. All right, this is an elimination. He's really here. Better kill him fast. Bullets aren't cheap these days. Main system activating combat mode. Take a look at this. I'm no longer a black blob. The resolution is good. I can see the freaking snow and my frame rate is not going down. Um, the one thing I will say is order mission zero, you gotta go really fast Energy through. 30%. And I have to... There we go. Energy at 30%. Energy at 30%. Look at this. Look at this. Act. This, this, this gun fighting. Energy this literal raw power. Using a gun. In our report, you can see everything. 
the radiation, the blue, my damage, the hit. And there's no freeze frame. No how close I am, we have no voxel issues. And look, look, I was able to finish the fight and the mission, and it hasn't frozen. And this is the part where it would freeze when it turns to black. And look, 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 it's loading. And I have the end screen, I have my rank reward, I got my income, my expense, my personal pay. Hot diggity dog, I did it. And all it required was just a lot of hard looking through the internet because it's a fucking rat nest. Generally, I'm an outlier. I don't spend a lot of time doing things with people. I don't really have a lot of people I talk with Discord. And my friends, not a lot of them play Armor Core. Maybe like two of them do. And they, they have no idea how to play it on the PCs. They have not spent the cash to get a desktop. They have like some crappy laptop they got from a grant for college. They can't even play Elden Ring. They can play Monster Hunter. That's about it. Monster Hunter. And I'm like, you could play, you know, you could play PCSX2. I don't want to learn how to do that. But one thing I will say, and I, I would recommend for anyone, do not, whatever you do, whatever you do for any emulator, don't put it on your C drive, okay? That, that's the runs for your operating system. It's a lot. Uh, do what I do. Separate your, uh, you know, emulator from its games. And I, I put all my games on the same thing. I put it on a hard drive. And I have my, uh, my RPSC3 and my Xenia on a wonderful SSD. Because SSDs are the future, my friend. And I'm still upset, though. I can't get my, uh, my RPCS3 working. That is the one thing I'm currently working on right now. It really, it really bugged me I couldn't get this to work. I don't know why. I don't know why. It just, it just irked me. Uh, you know, let's always do an update. You always get the option. But for whatever reason, I wasn't able to play Armor Core 4 Answer. It would just crash on me. I don't know, maybe the update might fix it. Or not. Who knows? Who knows? It's been a while. The one thing I always like about the uh, people who make the Sony emulators is they always leave you a bug information. And you can always read through it. The uh, Xbox 361, you have to sort of go into settings to do. It's very important, though, to skip in this. Working now? Let's see if anything crashed. Yeah. Okay, maybe it was just the update. Hmm. Strange, bizarre, extremely. All right. I still see those reds, and I'm like, this just disturbs me, and I just look in these things. I just see them, and they just disturb me every time. No, so let's play. Let's play a match. See what happens. In Armor Core, it's such a fast-paced and intense game with a lot of particle effects. That if any issues are going to occur. It's going to actually occur in gameplay. Oh, yeah. That's the screen flash going on. Vault in uninterrupted code. Interesting. Yeah, there's definitely something wrong.
Come on, pal. I probably should be taking this fight seriously, but I'm actually doing it just for the testing purposes. I'm gonna have to look that up. Whenever you have an error, look it up. If your Xenia freezes up on you, there's actually a way to pull up error or bug codes. It's uh, it should be under the file directory. The thing is, like, for any emulator, there's always going to be a loving community behind it. Someone's going to have the answers to it. You just got to look hard, ask yourself, all right, what exactly is my problem, and what's the actual definition for it? And you'll find it. I lost this. One. Okay, so that that seems to be working now for whatever reason. I'm going to, have to look into this, so it's going to be something for me to do. But let's say if you ever want to configure any of your files, it's normally configure pads somewhere. You have your games list. Know what your um, things are. You want to make let's say uh, you have issues with one of your armor cores and. RPCS3. You want to make a custom config for that game. You want to go where you actually store the actual game files are. Let's say... I know I have one for answer. No, that's not it. There it is. Right. Uh, I don't remember where I put it. Yeah, I actually put it in this... Yeah, it should be. No. Ah! Yes, there it is. Custom config. Alright, and our custom config will be whatever our game file is. So let's say, for answer, I have a custom config here. Right here. That's where I keep our custom config files. And in here, you can, like, change any special settings you want. Um, Generally, when you go into here to do this, you're actually uh, changing settings in the RPCS3 emulator that might be grayed out. Um, and you only want to do that if it's like something that's actually hampering your performance. Like, say, uh, it's been a while, actually, in my head. Uh, what was it? Why did I do that again? I think it had something to do with rendering at the time when I did it. It's been a while. I know I did it for Verdict Day. Let me go into... No, that's not what I want. Yeah, here we are. Change this configuration. Where was it? It was here for Accurate DFMA. If you don't go into the custom config, that will already be ch like checked off. As you see, it's grayed off. In, um, in the actual settings in the emulator. All these grayed off settings can only be changed in the actual custom config. And that's literally the only time you want to go into a custom config. Uh, if you go into general config, you might be doing it for all of them. So always make a custom config for each of your RSCPS3 emulations. Uh, just a common recommendation in my opinion. Uh... I am working on getting Armor Core 5 and Verdict Day to work on this. Um, those are currently work in progress. And at this point, I'm just doing it just for a challenge. But, like, I've already got working on the Xenia. So I really, I really don't need it to work um, necessarily. At this point, it's just more of a, hey, it's not working. It's something I have, something I set up. It kind of bugs me, and I want it to get it to work. Is it worthwhile doing? Yeah. And in case you forgot, Armor Core and Xenia Rancer normally was like really blocky and terrible looking. No longer an issue. I'm a lot further in Xenia than I am in an RPCS3. More than 10 years. Alright. 
Ah. And if you're not white glint, that's right. Say we want to go into an AC test. You're gonna see. There I am, and I'm no longer a giant blocky texture. emulators to play armor core on you can play this fairly well when it's like not working correctly because it's literally only a color issue for armor core 4 or, well 4 answer i should say and everything works all you have to do is do the work do the homework read your problems up search it out sure you could join a discord and ask a bunch of other people how to fix the solution Someone might actually know. Someone might not. You might get a proper answer or you might just, you know, be played around with. Who knows? I never trust other people to, like, actually fix my problems. I'm a very firm believer in fixing it yourself. So I guess to wrap this up. And now you have a problem with the emulator. Take a moment. Sit down and say... You know, I want to Google it. And you might just find a list on GitHub talking about the textures. You might see an RPSD3 log someone posted. Right, right here. Or you can go on Reddit because this is a new thing I've tried out and Well, you can sit through Reddit. I have yet to have an actual account. <laughs> that is one dark hole I am very afraid to go on. <laughs> For very good reason. But uh, you know. Keep it fresh, keep it fancy. Stay frosty, friends. And uh, always do your own homework. Silent NK, signing off.